It looks so cool. I love, I love like anything that looks authentic Mexican. Like I'm just so here for it. I love it, and I love like going up these hills. This is actually where we walked yesterday, up these hills, like really high. No glasses. Been to this restaurant but I I just want to say like it looks really popular and the food looks pretty good to be honest like I can see it coming out of the kitchen it's called Rico Mac Taco so if you are in this area I would say this is probably a pretty good place because it's busy and it looks good store I guess. I want to see if they have any um, little containers for oil and vinegar but they have really pretty stuff. If you want to decorate your home if you live here they have some nice cool stuff. I love this like for salsa and guacamole but I'm not seeing any little vinegar bottles. I really pretty stuff though. so pretty on a patio. This is the place I showed you guys in the dark, Burrito Beach, but yeah, they have really good tacos on the main drag here. And I am looking for a Starbucks, and I see the Starbucks. So I'm so excited to get Starbucks because I've been having coffee, the coffee is really good, but I like my coffee with milk and they only have cream for some reason like I never get milk with my coffee at the hotel but today I'm actually gonna get a matcha latte I'm hoping they have it and I'm really excited for my matcha latte so so this is on the main drag I don't know what road this is like what's it called but this is totally different. Like, look at this, you guys. I have baguette. Different. My sandwiches. And even a donut. This is totally different than Canada. This store, Zingara, I believe it's only in Mexico. They have one in Cabo San Lucas. Um, I had a few swimsuits from here. Actually, it pisses me off. There's somebody that threw my swimsuit out. It was in a bag at their house and they like freaking threw it out. Anyways, they're kind of pricey, but they're more so really expensive for me because I'm Canadian and the dollar is like really weak right now. But um, yeah, if you're looking for nice swimsuits, the store has really, really nice stuff. So definitely check it out. Zingara. I believe it's in South America as well. I'm not like certain, but I think so. Okay, and then anyways, I just went in the store and they have like fake all these fake designer bags and it's like really really bad I'm um, like fake fake um, Dior and Gucci and it's like it's bad the hardware is already rusting <laughs> like it is so bad I don't even know where they're getting them from I guess China but yeah it's pretty bad <laughs> I don't know who buys them okay so I've reached the Malacon and I took footage of this the other night. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in here, but 
in the video just because it was dark and it's not the same, but it's very loud here at night. And this is where the nightclubs are. It's like really annoying actually. It's like, it was like really, really loud. But I wanted to show you guys in the daytime because it's a lot more beautiful in the day. So they have all the statues along the Malacan. It's really pretty. So do you guys see where that building that's under construction is? That's our hotels to the right of that. So that's where I've walked from. And I've just been going really slow and it didn't take me long to get here. I stopped at Starbucks, I stopped at the currency exchange. Just going really slow. It's beautiful. What the hell is going on up there? I just clued in, I've been standing here for a few minutes and I was just taking pictures and I looked up and I'm like, what the hell is going on? So there's these guys up there. Oh my God, it looks really sketchy though. Do you see what they're sitting on? It looks like it's moving. Hola. It's just plywood. Oh my God, I'd be terrified. Guys, there's this dog crying in an apartment here and it's like, I've never heard a dog cry like that in my life. I hope it's okay. It stopped right now, but it's been going at it for a while. How beautiful this building is. Gosh, I hear that dog crying down there. Oh, I understand dogs bark and everything, but that dog is like howling, like he's wailing. And I just really hope he's gonna be okay because he sounds distressed. So I'm going down the street and it looks really pretty because you can see the cathedral, which I can't see at the very moment. Oh, this must be like a bike tour or something. These people are on. <laughs> I would not want to do that in the heat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, here's a hostel. I just love these back streets. That's why I like to go for walks because I really enjoy seeing how people live. And I don't know, like, I just like it. It's a little different. You know, all this stuff for tourists is made to look more fancy in a certain way and you know it's just nice to get off that kind of track yeah there's the cathedral down there so yesterday I hang on okay yesterday I stepped in dog shit you guys oh my god like I'm getting so worried okay so what happened we went on a big morning walk it was amazing and I stepped in dog shit then I went to the supermarket and I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see how pretty it is where I'm walking and then um, yeah so I went to the supermarket and then I got a brush like a scrub brush for dishes and a bottle of water and we cleaned my shoes on the street <laughs> and um, oh this is like someone's apartment it's so pretty I love all the tile. Yeah, so, and then, I don't know why, but, like, whatever. Jay hid the brush in this, like, crack in the bridge. There's the cathedral. So pretty. Look at this building. All the plants. It's really cool. 
yeah, he hid the brush in the bridge in case we step in crap again. It's like on the way back to the hotel. So then we can <laughs> just buy a bottle of water and clean and clean our shoes again. Um, <laughs> yes. And like, if you think, cause I was like, oh, don't do that. That's like literally littering. But like, honestly, there's so much garbage everywhere over there that unfortunately, like it doesn't make a difference. There's so much garbage. I want to show you guys this area, but this van is like right in the way. This beautiful mural and the umbrellas, people dining right there. So pretty. Okay. There we go. It's really pretty. There's a nice little cafe I found. I got so ripped off at Starbucks, you guys, because of the Canadian dollars. It was it was over seven dollars for a grande matcha latte. But next time I'm going to one of these places, so I just want to like show you how cute. Just like little. I don't want. I don't mean to get people's faces, but unfortunately they turned around on me, <laughs> and I got their face. Okay, I made it. Is this the big cathedral? Oh, this is a different one. Oh yeah, this is the church. The famous one. Uh, Santa Maria de Guadalupe. Beautiful. So we actually had street tacos like basically basically in this like back alley one day. Oh this restaurant looks really good. Is this what it's called? El Campanario. El Campanario. Yeah. That looks really good. Anyways, we had street tacos kind of like behind the market. Like the famous market here, like the popular whatever market by the river, and they were so cheap and they were amazing. I can't remember how we found out, but this place looks so pretty. Oh, walking is because I had too much sun yesterday and so I need to try to stay in this the shade it's actually it's not hot in the shade at all but it can be quite hot in the sun and I don't know why I have like this rash going on on my face which is really weird I'm thinking it's because I was using body tanning lotion on my face and maybe the fragrance that's in it or something like that I'm not really too sure so today I'm using face tanning lotion or sunblock and hopefully it will calm down because it's like I, even right now I can feel it. it's so itchy you this person's apartment is up there do you see that with the, the little chairs at first I thought it was a restaurant but and then they have like a hammock and the umbrellas how adorable and I love their artwork outside oh that's just so cute this is a really pretty area and this is close to the beach and close to romantic zone it's like a couple minute walk and you're in the uh, old town so it's like a really really good area too the store hacienda interior design looks really nice this is the spot you guys 
I'm sure it's expensive. It looks kind of expensive, but if you want like nice furnishings, if you live here or think about it, Hacienda Interior Design. It's really nice. Actually, this street, uh, Calle Lib Libertayo. I remember the street last time. There's really good stores. Um, there's some unique clothing stores, like that one right across there it looks really cool. Um, I can't really read what it's called. So, say so? So this is the main market and it's huge, you guys. So one of the bridges over to the river is right there and then there's that restaurant right there. Um, I remember eating at that restaurant when I was a kid. But yeah, this market's huge. You can go in there and like get lost for what feels like forever because it's all connected throughout. And then actually it also goes under the bridge. There's like more market. It's really big. It's like for me anyways, well, except for in Bangkok, it's like the biggest touristy market I have encountered. It's huge. Um, I got this drink, but you know what? I'm scared to drink it. I never really thought it through, but I remember last time, usually I do drink the water here and I'm pretty good, but I learned my lesson last time. But just random places. I think if it's like a certain hotel, like hotels and stuff, probably have a filtration system, but this was, I just got this drink from this little like place, um, like super local, and it literally came out of a bucket. And then I asked for ice too, which I, my brain didn't think like, oh yeah, how are they making that ice and with what, what water? So now I'm afraid to drink the drink because I really don't want to get sick. I hate wasting stuff, but like, I really just don't think it's a good idea. Like, why am I ordering drinks? I mean, if I was here for a while, I'm sure my stomach would be used to things, I can handle it, but for me and my experience last time, I really shouldn't be drinking water just from like random places. So yeah, my mistake. I need to go find like a Gatorade or something. It's really hot. It was really nice having my matcha latte, but now that that ran out, I am so hot. Although I've been holding this drink and it's been keeping me cold, which is nice, but it's actually hard not to sip it. But at the same time, it doesn't really taste good either. I don't know. It was supposed to be lime, but it doesn't really taste like lime. Look at this. I believe this must be Mexican opal. Maybe fire opal? I don't know. It's some sort of opal. It's beautiful though. I've never seen such a huge piece with all of the little stones on it, like, it's really cool. This is at the market. I'm just gonna go over this bridge now. I'm starting to get hot and I'm starting to think about and stress about my walk all the way back to the hotel. Because I am actually really, really far and I'm going further right now. Okay, I put on the screen how far I've walked. It's only 2.5 kilometers if you had like go straight from the Sheridan to this point, which took which is 32 minutes. But because I've been walking everywhere, um, like up and down over. different back streets, it's definitely taking me a lot longer. But yeah, if you're staying at the Sheridan and you want to walk to this flea market okay, so like into this way river, back in the day, a 32 minute walk um, under the and river, then crossing this bridge, you enter the Where was the area? Zone. I think it's like down there. Yeah, I think you go further down there. There was um, like an art gallery and different things. And there used to be like statues and stuff, but it's since gone. And now there are homeless people sometimes down there. But yeah, you can still walk down there. Like it's fine in the daytime. Anyways, here's the market continued under, kind of under the bridge here. Yeah, it's pretty because it's in the trees. So now, once you cross the bridge, this is the uh, Old Town, or also known as Romantic Zone. And this is my favorite area of Puerto Vallarta. 
along with the hill area. Um, this is definitely like a more expensive area to be in. Very touristy, great restaurants, the best restaurants. Um, yeah, it's like definitely if you go to Puerto Vallarta, especially if you're staying in Nuevo Vallarta, you wanna make your way over here. Like don't just stay in Nuevo Vallarta. That's basically just a hotel zone. You wanna come experience the town and this is the area you wanna go to. Like if you just wanna randomly be dropped off, ask to go to the romantic zone. That's the best area. Okay, so this hotel, Garland's, Garland's Del Rio. I was actually considering staying here. It has really, really good reviews and it's not a lot of money. So it's right on the river. Um, you are a few blocks to the beach, but you are in the old town. So it's like a good location, but it is not on the beach. I wanna see if I can see in there. So I think that's how you get to it. You gotta walk, walk along the patio kind of here. Oh, you can just walk down there. I kind of want to go check it out. Let's go check it out. So Garland's Del Rio, and then it takes you to uh, by the river there. I don't think that is part of it. These rooms, these two might be. Uh, I bet that those are. Oh, I need a drink. I'm just heading. Um, I'm heading like uh, away from the water, so I'm heading east. I'm in the romantic zone, but this this area, like, it's still touristy, but like, it's more so like by the water. So I'm kind of away from there. That's a really nice home furnishing place. Casa Oaxaca. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get horrible comments about my terrible Spanish. My Spanish is like really, really bad. It's a nice little balcony. Okay, so you know how I told you guys if you went the one way, if there was like, it was kind of run down and there's homeless people? Well, actually, this is looking at that area and it is back, it is alive again. So you can tell it's like a local kind of farmer's market, not like a touristy farmer's market. I mean, obviously it's still touristy, but yeah, it's more like local people set up their tents for the day. And then it does look like they have a restaurant, which is clearly not in use. But yeah, it's nice to see that that area has actually been used again because... I don't know why, but for a while there, it was just like, there was nothing there and it's such a nice area. This little chihuahua, he comes out of the store when you walk by, he's so cute, oh my goodness. Hi puppy. He's wearing his sweater. Ah, like it's cold, it's so hot. But it is winter here, so maybe it is cold for him. It's a cute little place. I wonder what that's called. Casa Parasol. Oh, that's nice. So this is what's happening, unfortunately, to this area. There are huge modern high-rises going up everywhere. Condos. Um, yeah, they're nice, but it totally takes away from the charm of this area, you know, which is unfortunate. Um, like, look at the contrast. Look at that. And then that, which is so charming and beautiful. I wish I'd stick to just buildings like that, right? But there's these modern buildings popping up everywhere. Like, the construction here is insane, you guys. Just since I've been coming as an adult more so, it's changed drastically. Like, 
Puerto Vallarta is really, really popular. Too many people are catching on. Not that it's a secret, but it's just, yeah, it's just becoming everybody's favorite place. And I mean, I get it because it's my favorite place. There's another huge building going up, but it's, there's like no charm. It's just modern. We see this all day long in Canada. Like, you know, you don't want to come here to look at that. Like, all modern architecture, like, sure, in a lot of ways it can be nice, but you know, it's just not the right direction. We're losing character, we're losing charm. Like, I don't want to live in a prison cell. Like, everything's just like plain, walls, flat, like, no character. Like, literally, look at this building. Like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? <laughs> I know I have strong opinions, but like there's a place, a time and a place, but I think like, okay, say for instance, in a big city, like there can be areas where there's some modern architecture put in, but taking this like very historic like place, and especially it's like touristy and everything and changing it into that, that's not why people come here, right? So just my thoughts I know it's nice I know a lot of people like it but I do prefer more charm okay I'm gonna show you guys the difference although those yeah those huge buildings up on that hill are crazy but Actually, those new ones look pretty nice with the balconies. Main thing is like having balconies makes things way nicer. That place is really pretty. Oh, I wonder if it's a house. I only see one address. It's really nice. It's gorgeous. So I'm like one block from the water here. I'm really tired. I feel like I have to get a cab back to the hotel. It's like 1.30 and I think I started walking at maybe 11.
Hey guys, it's our last day here, and I just woke up, but I came outside to hang up my um, swimsuit to dry, and this tile has fallen. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh, like something to be mindful of, because if you were sitting out here, like having your morning coffee, which is so easy to do, I don't know what time it fell, I didn't hear it, I must have been sleeping, I don't know, but um, yeah, you can get clunked on the head and possibly knock out because those tiles are huge. I mean, that thing could take you to the hospital, I'm sure. So, yeah, think about that, I guess, if you're in an area with this type of roof. There was an earthquake here, like, I can't remember when it was, around a year ago or something. I can't remember, but it was really bad. I know it was like six point something or seven, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm sure things are quite loose, so hmm, something to be cautious of. Be careful. You guys, so we are at the I think it's called Gabbiato's restaurant in the Sheridan. So, this is one of the restaurants where you reserve if you're all inclusive. But I forgot to show you guys how good the food is so far, <laughs> and um, I really regret because it's, it's amazing, it's definitely worth it to go here. And what's funny is, I was like, I knew it was good, but I was thinking it wouldn't be so like as good, and so um. We, it's our last day here, and then I was like, you know what, we should try it. So we just had the crispy Moroccan crab. And that was like one of the best things I've ever had. It was so delicious. And I'm having the corn chowder soup. And then also, they have these buns, which are really, really good. And I ordered a glass of uh, Pinot Grigio. But yeah, everything is so good so far. I don't know why I'm so blurry, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so beautiful. What you ordered? What was this again? This was the tuna, seared tuna. And what is, what is the sauce? Do you remember? I can't remember. Was it like a chipotle or something? I don't remember. No, yours is, yours is chipotle. Okay, so I got this beautiful shrimp fettuccine, and yes, he's right, there's chipotle. I forget what else he said, but we were told by somebody at the pool today that they had this last night and they really enjoyed it. So, I love pasta and I wanted to give it a try. And now, look at the sunset you guys this might be the nicest sunset so far of our trip i'm trying to show you guys the accurate color but like i can never get it to do that but anyways it's a it's a vibrant orange like it is orange like fire and it's just so beautiful